Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to present our project which is related to problem-based learning. Then our title is Designing Touch Shell Making Machine with Using PLC as a Controller. Let me show you the information prepared with my teammate. Hi, my name is Muhammad Virudi Bima Zainon, B0117017. Today we will talk about our project which is Touch Shell Making Machine. We is use uh, the conveyor system in this project, which can transport material from one place to another place. The conveyor belt we use in this project, which is because it is time, reasonable, and can transport heavy MST material. For the problem statement, the production control by human energy. So when the production start higher, worker need to work over time to finish the building of the door. So the conveyor belt should be installed in the factory and less human and you will use. For our objective, first is to design a conveyor system in the company to increase the production of that. Second, to provide an efficient system to the company and quickly transport the from one station to another station. And for the last one, to create a system that have reliable safety for the company. And for the scope, we mainly focus on design PLC to control the production of type. The design is stimulated by using CS programming software that we learn in class and lab. And for our conveyor system, we have two sensor and two double acting cylinder. Hello, my name is Muhammad Fadli bin Abdul Aziz. Today, I want to explain about the proposed method for this project. So we have here the fillers table, and the this is actually the components, basic component of the project, and the detailed explanation on how to use it, and the basic block diagram of closed loop system and type making shared block diagram. The input is start and stop push button, also sensor, but sensor is feedback. Controller PLC programming process is to move or stop the conveyor, stamping station uh, to shape the object, ejection to move the object from conveyor A to conveyor B. Creaming station is to with nozzle to place the cream on top of the touch. And complete output is the touch shell, from touch door to touch shell. The feedback is sensor, so sensor is used to determine when to start the process or when to stop the process. For example, the sensor used to used to determine the stamping stamping process when to start and the reach switch is to determine if the process is complete. So that is all from me. Thank you. Hello, this is me again. My name is Wan Wing Sheng. I will talk about the methodology for our project. We as a team, we have designed the machine with two conveyor systems that are doing the stamping process and squish cream process. We have list out the process step by step with input output address and time taken by each process. For making it easy to understand, we have draw out the flow chart. As we see, they have two parts of it, which are the conveyor A at the left hand side and conveyor B for the right hand side. Please before we designing a later diagram by using computer software CS programmer, we also list out the I/O table. They are only the external derived from the PLC. So, since we are facing the problem of MCO this year, we are not able to connect the hardware in lab. But by concept, the input device like sensor or switch, such as the limit switch. They is connect on the input port at the upper side of PLC CP1E. While the output device like motor should be connect at the bottom side of PLC according to the address and connect it correctly. So they are my explanation. Thank you. My name is Wong Chonglong from BEKM session 2. Now I will talk about the ladder diagram. First, the start button will press us, then the system will show its operator, and at the same time, conveyor A will start turning until the sensor 1 and sensor 2 detect the object. Then, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 will operate 5 seconds to off to wait the red switch of the cylinder to detect the full extraction. Then, conveyor A will start turning. When limit switch is on, 
the ejector will operate the one second to push the object to the conveyor B. When sensor 3 is detect the object, conveyor B will start turning. And in the middle of conveyor B, there is a squeeze screen station where the object will stop. Once the sensor 4 is detect the object, the nozzle will operate 3 seconds and at the same time, the timer will count for 25 seconds. The, after 25 seconds, the conveyor B will stop to save the power. Timer is an instruction that waits a set amount of time before doing something. Function of timer are used to provide logic when circuit turn on or off. When the accumulate value equals the present time, the output will be energized. Let's an example. If you set 5 seconds, after 5 seconds, the output will be energized. Then, the time set is the output. Shift register are sequences logic circuits capable of storage and transfer of data. They are made up of flip-flop, which are connected in such a way that the output of one flip-flop could serve as the input of the other's flip-flop, depending on the type of shift register being created. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mama Afi Bezalni. Today, I will talk about our project summary recommendation. Okay, for our project summary, we successfully designed and, stim and stimulate a third conveyor system process by using PLC and achieve a system design result. For our project design, we, pro uh, we provide a tub production from dust stamping to make the tub shell until the creaming of the tubs. The two set of conveyor work independently but in sync to provide easy hardware repair if one of the conveyor break down. As for our recommendation, we recommend adding LED light in each process because it will enable user to observe the condition of the process that being done by the conveyor system. As we also recommend to adding HMI hardware to the conveyor system because it helps user to navigate and determine the condition of the conveyor system. As for the PLC programming, we recommend adding interlock in each process so maintenance can be done if there any error occur during PLC execute the code. Lastly, we also recommend adding master control reset to the, the entire coding system because it able to safeguard the system in terms of emergency. That's all for me. Thank you. During the discussion, we have discussed about using shift register in our project because that is easy to understand the step which is the machine doing and easy to do the maintenance afterward. But we found that shift register is not suitable in our project because it need to do the process step by step and they will not operate in convenient A if doing the step in convenient B. So the things about the discussion I will put in the appendix as a reference. Thank you.